Hello, Mr. Mothers. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Solaidi and I create makeup videos and beauty videos and I post them once a week. And if you like that kind of contact, please make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. Today, I'm very excited because I'm going to be trying new makeup. Well, technically, makeup that is new to me that I have never tried before, no, actually, things that just came out so new makeup to me <laughs> and i'm really excited so let's get started so the first thing we're gonna start off with is this wet n wild tinted hydrator and this i have heard so much about about. Uh, I've heard a lot of things about this says that it has hyaluronic acid it also has a squalene which I have no idea what that is and it also says that it's lightweight non greasy finish sheer to medium I'm actually really excited to try this I've heard a lot of things about this and I've seen uh, people talk about it so I really I'm really curious so let's put it in our skin I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put this with my fingers or just like with the brush, but I'm gonna use a brush. It actually smells pretty good. You know what? I did find out what squalene, squalene means. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it, here it says it helps remove healthy, supple, moisturized skin. That's great. <gasps> Ooh okay okay so <laughs> i think i grab a shade a little bit too light for me okay so th this is very thin and it looks like i grabbed a shade that's a little bit too light this is light medium which light medium usually works for me but i guess you know what I forgot? I forgot to put primer on. I totally forgot. But I think we should be fine because I did my skincare and hydrated my skin before doing this. So, you know, moisturized and everything. So I think we should be okay. The first thing I noticed about this is very thin, which it makes sense because it is a tinted hydrator. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be like heavy or anything like that, or very thick or anything like that but honestly it looks nice it looks very dewy it looks very dewy you can definitely still see my skin peeking through and i kind of like it i don't know i kind of like it it is clinging a little bit to like right here like in there it's getting in there but it's very natural you can definitely still see my skin peeking through you can still see some of my freckles um, I'm gonna try to put a little bit more on my cheeks and I'm gonna do this with my hands. Next, I have the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. This concealer has been talked about so much and honestly, I don't know why I have waited so long to try this concealer out because I've been so curious about it. And Okay, I like the applicator. I like the applicator. It's really nice. I did get this concealer with a little bit more of a pink undertone. Just because of my under eyes and how they're... Because they're very... Crazy. <laughs> Wow, that was that was literally so easy to blend and it looks so nice and natural. <gasps> oh my god. I just poked my eye. I need a smaller concealer brush. Oh my god, guys, that was literally literally so easy to blend. It is a very light coverage. But this is so pretty. I think this would be great for like really like everyday 
looks. So for bronzer, I'm not going to be using any new bronzers. I will be using my e.l.f. Potty Bronzer and this is in Golden Days. I really love this bronzer. It's very buildable and the, it looks so pretty. Like it's just... It looks so pretty. You can do natural looks or you can really go full glam with this because you can just keep building it up. And I, I love that. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more. I really love how easy this bronzer is to blend out. I almost forgot to do my jawline. Okay, so moving on to blush. I actually have not tried this one from e.l.f. And this is in the color Bahamas. I've been wanting to try them, but they're always sold out. Like, there's never there's never any on my stores. Let's start back here. I don't know how pigmented these ones are. Honestly, I don't really like... Like I said, I don't really like blending stuff with my fingers, but maybe they're supposed to be blended with your fingers. I don't know. I'm going to apply some more. And look at that. It's so pretty. And sometimes I take the blush up to my temple, so that's what I'm doing. Wow, oh my gosh. This is freaking cute. And that was literally so easy to blend. I'll put some on my nose. You cannot forget the nose, girl. You cannot forget the nose. It's gotta kinda go around like this. I cannot believe it took me this long to try this freaking blush. I don't know. I might have to try the other ones because this is really nice. And it's a really nice coral shade. This coral shade literally looks... I think it looks so nice on my skin. So the next thing I have here is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. So this also comes with a little mirror and a little like... Little... Like... Uh, puffy like phone thingy I don't know what you call them um I've actually had tried years ago their blushes from this same collection but that one literally had no pigment and it kind of discouraged me to try their other stuff and this was back when I was first started getting into makeup so it was a long time ago but I was just kind of like eh, no no thank you the formula it was very it was very thin i don't know i don't know how else to explain it but i thought maybe this is this powder is the same i've been trying to find a powder that's very lightweight and that it's not heavy like i love the fit me powder but sometimes that one can be a little too much for my skin when i just want a very natural um look I'm putting a little bit more concealer just because I feel like I took that blush a little bit too high, like close to my eyes. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use this little thing just to set under my eyes and see, just kind of see how it works. The powder in there. <laughs> Hopefully it looks nice. I think this was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Nah, this just really darkened up my under eyes. I'm kind of uh, mad at myself for doing that. I should have not done that. Whatever. I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna commit. And I'm just actually kind of like this. It didn't make me super powdery. And you can still see my skin is still like glowing a little bit. Kind of like looking like it's hydrated and stuff. So, this is nice. I think this too, this is a good combination. If you use this little thing right here, you're probably going to get more coverage with this. Because, I guess, the you know, the way this applies it. Okay, y'all. So, the next thing I have here, it's something that I have never tried before. Well, <laughs> okay, that's dumb. Like, everything here. For the most part, stuff that I have never tried before. But this is like, this kind of product is a kind of product that I have personally never tried before. And it's a loose highlighter. Okay? I have always been a little bit like intimidated by loose highlighter. But I decided that today was going to be the day <laughs> that I'm going to try them. So I got the Wet n Wild 
loose highlighter and I'm so lit this is what it looks like um so I'm gonna show y'all it, it kind of gets everywhere but it's so pretty <laughs> I'm kind of scared I'm kind of scared I'm not even gonna let I don't know what's too much with this let's try this thing okay <sighs> okay 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 I hope it looks good and I'm and I don't look crazy cuz <laughs> oh my god on me and I always take it up to my temples oh my god okay I'm gonna try to blend it out a little bit oh my god this is so freaking pretty uh. <gasps> look ooh. Ooh. oh my god oh my gosh Okay, first impressions. This highlighter. You need to go grab you some because excuse me. Excuse me? Like what? Why what? This is beautiful. Like this is pigmented. This is brightening. This is bam on your face. Like I'm here. And look how much comes in here. You know how much this was? This was literally six dollars. Excuse me? Six dollars. For this much highlighter. And the only thing though, it does get like kind of everywhere. But if you're careful with it, you're fine. Like that's not even a big deal. Well, to me, it's not really, it's not even a big deal. Like this has 0 0.28 ounces of loose highlighter like this will last you like a whole year like what okay guys so the next thing i'm gonna be using here it's this elf instant lift brow pencil and since i'm gonna be doing my brows and my eyes moving forward i'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see better i forgot to mention this is in the shade dark brown wow this is surprisingly my exact same eyebrow color i have never had a match this good it's very natural and it's surprisingly very precise this little pencil honestly it's not bad i would say it's good for like really natural looks it does get dull which is suspected you know okay so moving on i have this morphe 2 ready and five eyeshadow palette it's pretty it's pretty small this is my hand this is the palette i'm going to take out of the sand right here this one and i'm going to set my concealer with that so i'm actually gonna apply the glitter eyeshadow first and i'm going to take sunkiss glow this eyeshadow in the middle and i will be putting that all over my lid this is such a pretty shade then i'm gonna take a fluffy brush into some baked this one right here and i'll be going all the way inside to outside then i will be going into tan lines and i'm gonna do the same thing i did with the other one and just put it in that crease So I'm finding this color that I just put down a little bit harder to blend in the other ones. And then I'm going to dip back into the out of the sand. And I will be just blending the edges out at the top. Just putting that color at the top and blending the edges out. Then I will be dipping back into Sunkiss Glow. I'm going to reapply it to my lid. So I'm just going to reapply that. that shimmery color it's it like falls out a lot there's a lot of foul with that one and then i'm gonna be dipping into beach glitter right here and i will be putting that one just in the center of my lids like that kind of giving it like a little halo effect i would say 
and I'm gonna be doing the same in the other eye, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Ardell Wispy Lashes, and this one come in a pack of six. This is what they look like. I've never tried Ardell Wispy Lashes before. Okay, so I put the lashes on, and honestly, these are cute as hell. I was not expecting them to be so long, but oh my god. They were very easy to put on too. Okay, so moving on to the lips. I actually, oh, I've been wanting to get this lipstick for so long. This is from Milani and it's from their line Color Fetish. And I have this one in the color Tees. I will be using that lipstick with the LA Girl Perfection Precision Lip Liner. And this is in the color Bear. I actually have used this lip liner, but I've only used it like once maybe so soft and comfortable I am pretty impressed I was like trying to find a lipstick that was like a lighter nude because I don't really have a light nude color that's why I got this lip liner and then when I saw this lipstick this color I was like there's no way like why are the odds they're literally the same color but they're just from different brands okay so the last thing um we're gonna be doing um obviously setting spray and i got this setting spray from milani and it's called make it last original natural finishing setting spray and it says it's a 16 hour wear um oh wow okay so i didn't even know this but apparently you could prime with this it says prime correct and set so i guess i could have used it as a primer but i forgot to put a primer on earlier so but yes okay we're gonna be using this i like this spray it doesn't like it's not weird it's actually sprays really nicely i'm gonna just dab it in with the brush real quick it has a strong scent but it smells good but it has a strong scent when you spray it Something I forgot to do was to put a little bit of highlighter in my inner corner, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I'm just going to go over a few things here. And the first thing I want to go over is the Incognito Concealer. I think I might have to try this a few times and see how it actually works because right now it's really creasing under my eyes and I don't like it. <laughs> like, it's creasing pretty bad under my eyes. Maybe because I didn't set it properly. But I'm going to give it another chance and see because I don't like the way it's creasing. Like, I, it's not looking good. <laughs> Things that really stood out to me, the blush. This blush. The e.l.f. Putty Blush in Bahamas. This thing is so freaking pigmented. Oh, my God. <laughs> this thing is so, like. I was just wow like I was blown away I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented like honestly this this blush is totally worth it I really enjoy using this it was so pretty so beautiful it blends so easily and you can build it up what more can you ask for it's so nice and then obviously the highlighter this loose highlighter, it took the cake, or whatever the phrase is, how you say it, but it just, it stole the show. It totally stole the show. This freaking highlighter is great. I mean, look at that freaking shine. Also, I really liked this um, lipstick. For a matte lipstick, it's very comfortable to wear. You can barely feel it on your lips. It's so smooth. It glides on like butter. Like, it's so nice and smooth. I do have some comments about the eyeshadow. I think it's really cute. It's really small and compact and you can take it with you like anywhere. You can blend them good except for the darker one right here. That one was a little bit harder to blend, the matte dark one. And that one is in the color timeline. But what I didn't like though, you do have a lot of fallout. So I would recommend that if you use this little palette, try to do it before you put your foundation on because 
you're gonna have a lot of fallout so this is the end and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really have fun making it i love trying new makeup Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe, click that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post, and till next time, be happy and smile.